Somebody said you, you got a big, the big bag. Girl style. Come on, they you know talk about, about somebody girl. that's heavy. Not there's a girl, two, but there's two types no, no, of big no, no, no. bag. <laughs> when somebody say, "Oh, that big bag bitch," <laughs> they yeah. not talking about a Come on, Tyler. Bitch. Come on. They talking. No, you talking no. about somebody? Else? But but it's not. No, okay, no, no. So, I, no, hit me out. Hit me out for a second. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What you got? What you got? I'm say, not Tyler? done. Wait. So <laughs> when you're insinuating somebody has a big back, you're insinuating that they're big. Hold on, Tyler. Let me finish. All right, now. And so when you're saying big back energy, I think I understood what he was trying to say. I think the big back part got to get taken away. You're saying that, oh, you know, she, you know, low self esteem, didn't believe in herself. I know bitches that are skinny as a fucking toothpick. That have low self esteem. That let a nigga walk all over her. You know what I mean? That do the same dumb shit she does. No clearance. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the No Clearance Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler, here with two absolutely amazing people. I got the queen of the pod in the place to be, hey. KC. How you doing? What's popping? What's going on? <laughs> KC, uh, Dare to Talk coming soon. We're looking forward yeah. to hey. it. The big one nine. You feel me? Hey man, in KC was just having our talks about dare to talk too. Mm-hmm. We got mm-hmm. some shit cooking. I feel really involved in the pan. With this season. In the pan, I feel Chef very West. involved with this season. This is this. I'm so excited. It's good. That's it's good so good. And that uh, that voice is the producer of the pot, uh, Mr. West, Jaden himself. Wake up, Mr. West. So, I'm the Muad. <laughs> Jay, how you doing, man? Call me Mr. Call me Jalen Muad Atreides. Right. I don't know what you talking about. Hey, I'm the Muad'Dib. This nigga hey. watching Doom. This is from Doom. This guy hey. be from Doom. <laughs> I'm the Desert Mouse. This, hey, I can't wait to talk about it. But hey, yeah, oh I'm so I I, I, I do I gotta watch Doom because the first one was good, but you could tell it was all build up for part two. Yeah. you could tell it was all build up. So yeah. Well, anyway, we're sure. gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. <clears throat> KC, how was your weekend? I had a great weekend. I went. First of all, I want to name, I'm at this age where I cannot do any, like, fun activities after work. <laughs> Especially Friday night. I, I don't Yo. have it in me. Like, you know what I mean? I had to go to the rodeo on Friday. We got tickets to go see 50 Cent. Shout out my nigga 50. And it took everything in my spiritual being to physically get in the car and go. Do you know what I mean? Oh, so on Friday, I just wanted to have a wine, you know, took a little jaded to face and sleep. But nope, I had to like get ready, get going, shoot there. Couldn't even take a nap. Mm. Couldn't take a nap. Nope. So I had to go straight there. But it was a good show. It was solid. I think we, well, let me rephrase. I think I underestimated how many songs 50 had. Like, ooh, does he have enough to like do? You know what I mean? A concert yeah. or so. But yeah. he actually had quite he, his catalog is actually good. It, he has some it, special guests come out too. It's very surprising because you think about you go on Fifty Cent channel, you'd be like, "Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh shit, yeah, this was a hit." Yeah, I mean, you forget it, about I mean, it. I mean, I, many men is probably my favorite, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, that shit a, is that's hard. His best song. Um, that's a hard too. song. He right brought out the baby good. though. Oh, mm, that's tough. That's so weird. But that's you tough. know, Fifty was, though. 50 okay, I'm gonna be honest. Because this is, you know, this is family. I did not record the baby performance. But baby, when that song came up, I was geeked up. <laughs> hey, I was like, what are we talking about? You know, but it's yeah. the power of music. Yeah, you know. You know Fuck him, though. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. One artist Fuck that him. really you just got sick of. Huh? That's just an artist you just got sick of. You know what? I like just Fetty Wap. Yeah. No, I, I take a one eye motherfucker. He a little bit better than Fetty Wap. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, but hey, he in jail I, for but, a long time. He in jail yeah, for I mean, a long time. I mean, he's not getting oh, out. Man, um, he was a drug dealer. Stay safe yeah, in there, Fetty Wap. Stay safe. Stay safe, stay safe um, yeah. You see how we didn't say free Fetty Wap? But I think you know he did motherfuckers is putting shit on his books. I think he's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he got one eye. My thing about the baby, though, is just like, you ever like I, he's just an uh, like an asshole and he's not pretending. Like you can tell yeah. he's an asshole in real life. And it's just like you're not likable. Like I feel like 50 Cent had his like villain era, but you could tell like deep down like that nigga's actually a solid dude. You yeah, you you you, you, you know like I mean? 50 Cent. People you like, like 50, 50 Cent. You hate that you like him, but you like him. Yeah. 
That's fair. Then Jeremiah no, that's came true. out. Jeremiah was damn near eating the girls. Can know, he sing so. now? Because I know he's had some issues, yeah. health issues yeah. in the past. No, he was good. He still he got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 he, he did was, have some bad health issues. Yeah, he looked healthy. He looked good. That's it was a good show. It, it was a solid the show. Story the story looked. 50, man. Uh, your story looked crazy at the rodeo. That shit was fire. First of all. That we had the best seats. I don't want to hear what anybody had to that say. That was cool. Best seats. I my favorite part of the show was when they played the power song. The, you, first of yeah. all, this is how you <laughs> know <laughs> who who really is tuned in. Me and my homegirl, there was like a wave of white bitches behind us. Oh, and no. literally me and her are singing it. You know, they say this is a big rich town. The white bitches in the back are like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> And the motherfuckers in front of us are black too, so they like we're all just like having a good time vibing out. Black people but love the that bitches show. in the back, I'm like, yo, so what the fuck did y'all come here for? They knew maybe candy shop. <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. Uh, they you know they always crazy. know the old shit. They always they knew, know the old shit. They knew shit. the song he had with Justin um Timberlake. I don't know what song it is, but that shit's a Oh, lot. I remember that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's newer, the technology is it newer? shit. Yeah, that, I remember that song. That, that actually song. I don't like that song, but in a stadium like that. That shit was hard. I'm not gonna. That song go hard. I like that song. It was nice. Question, KC. You know, as a, yeah. as a fan of your Instagram story, um, <laughs> this is just a, a question on the style because I saw you was wearing the the white button up shirt. I have a question. Do you do yeah. the little? Do you do the little half shirt tuck in? I did. So you, what you got to do is because if you have both of it out, it, it you look like you're going to work. So you got to have one side tucked in so it looks like, oh, okay, yeah. you're down for a party. Yo, you're down to ride. I've you been seeing a lot of shit. women do the half shirt tuck in, and I'm just it's, like, okay. It, it, it just makes it, it, makes it cash. It's you know what's funny? Yeah. If, a, if a dude does that, it looks sloppy as hell. Right. If it's a fun. nigga does that, you look sloppy. You look like, so tuck, yeah, tuck yeah. your shirt in, son. Yeah, you, so, Jesus Christ. Straighten up. Straighten up. Straight Come on. on. Either no, take no, it all out or put it all in, son. You can't be half and half. <laughs> you no, can't have your yeah. toe in the water. And let me tell you, I didn't have all I had hours before the the show was the cowgirl beats. I was like, so I'm about to go in a pink bathing suit. Oh, you I got some cow. Oh, I just you got cow boots. That shit look fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I, I see they I get real narrow. Some cowgirl boots. Because I'm thinking B. Because when Beyonce does her tour. I already have the foundation. Ooh. I have shoes. Smart thinking. Yeah. Smart saying? thinking. That's yeah. big thinking right there. That's big thinking. And and I saw a reel of somebody on uh, Instagram was like, oh, when everybody got their boots off Amazon. I only saw one other bitch. And if you know the rodeo, it's like hella people. Yeah. I only saw one other bitch with the boots. And I ate her up. She didn't style that shit right. That's Jordan right. Brand. Jordan Brand. Make some cowboy boot 12s. You feel me? Jordan 12 cowboy boots. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him. Adidas. Man, it was, Adidas it was honestly, boots. it was really nice. The walk <clears throat> was like, I'm trying to think, Jalen, if I'm walking from Gillette to like one of those far ass parking spots, that the, rock, the walk to the show is never a problem. Because you're the adrenaline, yeah. you're excited. Mm -hmm. The fucking walk back felt like oh, it was always the worst. Tragic. Mount <clears throat> Everest. It was ridiculous. Yo, crazy. Yeah. It's Wait, so Casey, the, worst. the the rodeo was 50 percent. Oh Lord. 50 cent performed mm -hmm. at the rodeo. Yeah, so the rodeo, they have the um their like concert night, their like showcase nights. And so before I went last year for Bumby, Bumby's a staple. Like he performs oh, yeah. every oh, yeah. rodeo. That's the Black Heritage night is when Bumby does it. So mm -hmm. they actually gave us two Black Heritage nights, which was 50 Cent and um, Bumby, I think, is on the 12th. And I was kind of contemplating going to Bumby or 50, but I saw Bumby last year. The thing with that is he does like different, like last year it was like Southern Takeover. This year, it's like he's doing like, I want to say, I don't want to say the Americas, but like might have some niggas from New York come. Like now it's like not Southern. So it's like got other you. areas. Mm, um, got you. But Bum B show was really good last year. He, I mean, he brought Trinidad James out. Oh, shit. David Banner came it. out. Like he, Bum B does it big. Shout out to Bum. You been to Trill Burger yet? I mean, the vegan burger, the fucking regular burger. This nigga. Is a fucking problem. The sauce. That's fire. Okay. Shout out to right. Bumby, man. Shout yeah. out Bumby. Uh Jay, how was your weekend, bro? <clears throat> it was good, you know. Babysat. Watched my niece. 
That's what's up. Man. My goddaughter had Save a good time, children. you know. Had some the children. Had some future. Nerf bow and arrows. We were shooting each other. This is crazy. Like, she's she's only Who yeah, she's only two. She was shooting. We were shooting each other. I was I had a bow and arrow. She shot us. She shot me. <laughs> we made a whole little thing. She was like, "Yay!" And I was like, and then she shot me. I'm like, "Yay!" <laughs> Oh, that's good. Oh, I love yeah. that y'all are getting that practice. In she's tall. She's real tall. <laughs> getting the practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I need a... Um, she's going to be a volleyball star for sure. She's spiking that shit. Maybe WNBA. She tall as hell. She I'm trying tall. to think. How tall she's, is... Uh... She's two, and she's already like the height of a four-year-old. You're lying. Oh, my goodness. No, she's <clears throat> tall. Hey, but you know what? The nephew, he tall too, though. He hella tall. Yeah. Family. He tall. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. But yeah, that was my week. I am, I am, uh, I am less due date. We are less than a month away from uh, hey. April 1st. Oh, my. Less right. than a month away. Oh. <clears throat> it's, Went to the, it's go time. Pisces, Went to a baby though. appointment um, on Monday. Everything looking good. Baby healthy. Yeah. Baby That's head down. Man, you know what I'm saying? So it's, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Happy for you. <clears throat> appreciate that appreciate that um my weekend the main part of my weekend was watching Mia Copa after seeing KC bringing it up in the group chat I said you know what time to get on somebody's Netflix <laughs> and I couldn't it. wait for this movie <laughs> Jalen <Jaylen. laughs> oh man yo hey I'm yo doing, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry let me apologize. Yo, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, no, no, no. We yeah, I was not expecting in. you to bring. We have to zoom so in on Jalen's face. I've never seen Jalen look so disappointed. I'm sorry. I had yeah, a good transition. Like, I had a good transition. Let's talk about being Cobra first. No, we'll no, get to no. That. I'm happy you brought it up. I know. I just. No, 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 this is great. <laughs> I was going off, but I, I didn't see Just it. so the people listening and tuning in, this wasn't the plan. I don't know if y'all could tell. <laughs> but we're, anyway. we're rolling. We're rolling. Tina Turner. So back. let's go with this. Let's go with this. Mia Copa, Tyler Perry movie. First of all, I'm sure Jay will appreciate the quality of the film before anything else. So I know he's yeah, been looked like Tyler Perry was, for it a long like, time. It was a big budget. It looked like there was some. he put some money in it. You know, yes. he looked like he got off the reservation a little, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> KC, yeah. what did you think of the movie? Uh, okay, so my initial thoughts was budget was there. Yeah. Kelly brought her own people, her own stylist, she sure did. her own hair stylist. Uh, the 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 I guess the story oh. line was happened. <laughs> I'll say this: it happened. Storyline. It had potential. If there was one, it, right? It had plot. Had, had potential. I will say this. I liked the the lead up, right? Like the setup was nice. Now, did the setup take too fucking long? Absolutely. <laughs> I thought they'd be fucking more. Is that me? Yeah, I think no, they'd be I, fucking no, more. No, I'm not gonna hold you because we spent so much time setting what? the bitch up Sexy. that we didn't. We weren't left with a lot of fucking time. I don't. <laughs> you know what All I mean? right. So, not to cut you off and to bring up another topic about the movie, but like. What did she see in this nigga? And who? <laughs> in the in the in the in the in the in um Travante Rhodes. What did she see it, in this bit? He didn't really <laughs> do anything. It kind of was bad that he did not care about a murder case that he did not commit. I don't think it had anything to do with. He him. could give a fuck about you the know case. What? No, but this is this, and this is what I'll say. Just based off of what I saw, is here's this woman. She's in her marriage, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she's feeling like, yo, so, I'm um, I'm holding this fucking marriage down. I'm I got the whole house, the whole family on my back. And I'm not getting any like accolades. Your mom treats me like a piece of shit. Like I, yeah. you know, damn near marrying you off to the next bitch, but I'm the one flipping the bill on everything. So mm-hmm. I think she just the painter represented like this escape, right? This yeah. attraction. She felt like, oh, I'm finally being desired by somebody. Cause realistically, her husband wasn't Aside from that one moment, oh, can we get back to that? He wasn't really, you know, 
showing attraction to her, showing that like tension. He had that other woman on that terrible yeah, video game and it's thing. That's not like real. That forbidden fruit, you know, when you can't have something, it's like, ooh, it makes it even more shinier. Like you know, I, I think, think it's fair it. to say they was not. I having guess sex. so. It's fair to say her and her, her husband were not having sex. No. Oh, um, no. They and did. then when they, they did, that this motherfucker took off and didn't oh, hear that. She was they did like, have, they, they did have rolled the over. It was like. <sighs> you know what? You're right. You're right. She. He had a chance. He had a chance he, to really like give it, do something good. And it was. It was you're not paying thought, bills. The least you could do is lay yo, shit down. <laughs> I will say the movie was stupid as fuck. All right. So. <laughs> I'm not. That's not really a bad thing, in my opinion. I think it's great that he makes these stupid fucking movies because it makes him legendary. It makes you. It's so funny because literally yeah. Kelly Rowland is the worst lawyer of all time. She didn't do no lawyer in the whole movie. I mean, the only lawyer I know that only got one case. Was she y'all was not waiting on the court on case? One I was case. waiting on the court case the whole time. I'm waiting on them to Yo. actually be in court <laughs> and go back and forth with each other. A courtroom. You think Tyler Perry knows how to write a judge? Casey, I really thought it was gonna be like Daddy's Little Girls, I, like a backwards version. Yeah, I'm not gonna girl. hold you. Me too. I they was, didn't I was show like, not, one, not one. And then the judge talk court. about, oh yeah, this is a conflict of interest. I'm gonna see how it plays out though. <laughs> what? That was so like, come on, that my was nigga. Crazy. Come on, nah, man. The, ju- the judge, the judge had a little bit of. Had a little bit of black in him. He's like, yeah, was I'm going like, to see how this motherfucker's going I'm going to see how this... Yeah, it's a conflict of interest, but I want to see how this plays out. Like, it's a fucking reality show. Like, I don't know. The brother... The like, brother it's not a murder a case. <laughs> the brother was a dick. I so, didn't like him. I have the a brother question. was a dick. The nigga ain't have a job and got yeah. his mama a mother... A watch? So yeah. my piano. The so fuck the piano. The dick... The nigga's hawking pianos now. He just hawking this, a piano to get a watch. This nigga said, oh, That's some crackhead well, shit. you, you right. ain't played in a while. I, mean, I don't give a fuck. He, he ain't got... He, I'm, you know why I ain't played in a while? Because I've been working for you because you ain't had a job in eight months. I couldn't believe that shit. That was crazy. I mean, he was an And then to be home playing games. <laughs> hey, ain't nothing worse. Yo, ain't nothing worse. You can't to die when you don't got a job playing video games. What? You if can't you don't have like, a job, oh, it's you eight can't o'clock play at video. night. I thought I played. Nigga, you better go to sleep so you can wake up early and find a job. Find job. Eight o'clock at night, you can be applying for more jobs. You can be yes. on ID, LinkedIn. You can be on your fucking yeah. Zoom. You hear me? <laughs> be locked in. Find yeah, you, you can't a job and play you know, video games. <laughs> he played video games with another woman. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> That, that, that was is wild. crazy. You got to I can't believe they put the picture on the screen on like PS5. that. Yeah, that's just dumb. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Tyler? <laughs> you got to intentionally find a woman online on for the PS5. <laughs> you got to be like. And he went out of his way. Yeah, yo. You, come on. My man. question is, right? So, you know how they said that the apartment was full of blood and they found scale fragments in the painting? Skull, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How the fuck they get that if the bitch was alive the whole time? <laughs> I don't, bro, somebody make it make sense, my nigga. Do you know what I mean? How they go go charge her with murder if they don't got a body? Hold on, hold on. I, I'm going to do you one better. Jay, so, I was thinking he, that the he whole here, time. He out here fucking on bitches. Spoiler alert. She taking down the paintings. This motherfucker fucking on bitches like crazy. <laughs> then you go to the... The family house. Yo. Oh shit! He got a painting of Shorty Doo Wop too. I mean, but you was we, so in love with the girl that just left and that was murdered. Are we? The timeline was not timelining. Are y'all like? You know what I mean? Yo. <laughs> and then you got us all doing the same art activity, talking and about close your eyes. And then blue. And then like the, the, the fuck are we talking about? And then that's the worst part. Let's talk about the worst part. The fact that. He fucked Kelly Rowland after having his dick in that white woman. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, man. Hey, look. Like, man. Hey. Was... <laughs> all, hey, look, he man. Did, all he did was put on clothes and ride the motorcycle and get sweaty. And then, and then and make come it right worse. The fuck back. <laughs> yo, man. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Act like, was... yo, how you. You can't, you can't, she legit forgot about that white woman. Like, how can you get I, on a motorcycle right around and forget that the white woman was just riding no, this nigga? No, I didn't see. Now, one she time, was that nigga put soap and water 
to the ding-a-ling. The ding-a-ling was dirty. <laughs> That was uh, crazy. The, the paint cleaner, I, though. I, I, oh, I was and then, so excited. and then the paint. And then we the going to throw the motherfucker in some paint. Yo. It, On top of that. So you got sweat, ass, juice, and ear paint. It, Love it. it. Okay. It, it, to tell you, I was excited for this sex scene, and I gagged before it started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I'm thinking it was going to be something. Yeah, that shit I thought, was like... Yo, Tyler Perry was on this nigga's ass with the camera. <laughs> I was like, yo, what? I, at a certain point, I was like, damn, I got to look at my phone I'm for a second. I'm not going to hold you. That man got a nice body. They could have a shower. Nicely. They could have started you know in the I mean? shower. Good. Great. They didn't give a fuck, Ty. You're great not pairing. <laughs> great pairing. You know? Mm, the skin this is good chocolate really, on chocolate. Yeah, great lighting chocolate for the scene. Chocolate. But my goodness. Mm-hmm. It, they even got down to the evil light skids. Not looking right with Kelly Rowland, like they didn't even look good together, standing no. next to each other. Hey, mm-hmm. did, wait, did we see a little Kelly? Kelly, uh, yeah, body we saw body? a little, we saw a little, we saw a little, we saw a little, uh, we saw a little nip. We saw a little she nip. Was, little yeah, nips. she, she oh, her nip. contract was Nowadays, tight. Nowadays, a nipple is like her contract nip, was yeah. tight. A, a I was elbow. looking. You know how I love Kelly Rowland. I was looking. I know, I, just, I know you I, love Kelly Rowland. That's why I, love I was like Kelly Rowland. I was. That's why I was excited about the movie. She did great, by the way. With what she was given, she did great. She did do it. I thought she did a decent job. She did a real good job. And then I'll, I'll, I'll say this, and then I'll you know shut the fuck up. I think that the actors were great. They were phenomenal. Yeah. They need to try again on a different. I know, think squint. Travante Rhodes kind of slept his way through the movie. The niggas' eyes wasn't open the whole time. <laughs> I was like, I've seen you act before. <laughs> you mm. act wet. I was like, you're you sleepwalking you're through this. Me. Just say yeah. Yo, but you know what? Because he was trying to we'll get the like, sexy that. eyes. Yeah, and it wasn't working. Yeah. Just, you know. just say you're attracted to me. Because that the, nigga the, could the, trust you. Know, you know, Rose was a good actor. <laughs> but the part, I'm not going to hold you. The part that I was oh, like, yeah, that this like, is so hey. fucking fictional is when he was like, meet me at my uh, at my studio. I told you, being in here is like uptight and shit. My office? I'm your lawyer. This nigga life fuck is fucking you are, about. You are on trial, trial for control. murder. <laughs> for murder. <laughs> you can murder, go to murder. Murder, <laughs> murder nigga. Like, he did huh? not give a fuck about this murder he case. Was and he was innocent. Smash. And that's why the whole time I was like, if this nigga didn't kill her, he'd be the he's the dumbest man in the world. He is. He was he was worried about the wrong shit. He couldn't get the coochie off his mind. No, the nigga was, was consumed like, I know you attracted coochie. to me. Can, can you say the same? Never mind. I want a new her lower lawyer. Back in front of you her are going to play. Oh, and that was the other thing. Such her lower back in front of her husband is wild, oh. savage. I think I would have broke me? my fist in his face. I think I would have literally broke my head. Impulsive, hey, Jack. Impulsive, Jack. I was. I think the violence. Nigga, <laughs> Y'all ever play? Y'all ever play uh, Super this Mario is... Brothers? You ever, ever, ever I ain't play? Never uh, play that. Uh, oh, Super Smash Bros. Let like... me. Yeah. Super Smash yeah. Bros. Yeah. Oh, Falcon yeah. Punch. I'm like Falcon. Oh, <laughs> that's, oh. that, that's very intimate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. It, well, it, it was subtle. Was. It was just like. Mm. Are his, you her father? You're not her father. Nope. Mm-mm. He is the worst. <laughs> the, the worst acting I saw on the movie. Mm-hmm. Was when the husband found out that she was having sex with the nigga. Oh. Hey, she said. Tyler, he said. Tyler, did you? Would, you, would said, you classify that as too calm? He said, "Did you fuck him?" <laughs> that was horrible. He was too calm. You just found out your wife is smashing another man, and the reaction wasn't. It was. Mm. The reaction it was did. very fake. To be yeah. honest with you, KC, I'm. That I'm be honest with you. In my opinion, I feel yeah. like. If you really was hurt, nigga would have walked off. Nigga would have been gone. Get in the car yeah. and drive off. You know I'm what I mean? I'm not about to. Especially uh-huh. like you you telling me this in right. front of the family. I got to leave. I'm leaving you. Uh-huh. You're, you're I, staying here. <laughs> I'm outside in the rain punching the air. This man. is the R&B yeah. music. Video. Oh, man. You know what I mean? I'm nigga, crying. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm down crying. bad. I'm yeah. fucked he up. looked like he was having a heart attack. It was, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> I said, what is wrong with this nigga? Look like he about to die. You know, was the, that was his actual brother in real life, too. Get out of here! Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Well, the movie turned into the movie went from yeah. the movie went from Grey's Anatomy to Get Out. 
Nitty quick. quick. So quick. So in the quick. span of five minutes. <laughs> Yo, hey, here's my... Okay, so question. If someone handed you a drink and yeah. the shit was obviously bubbling, would you drink it? She didn't drink that shit. I wouldn't drink I know that she did it, but like the and way this thing was like, drink this drink. Like, no, it and I think when pe- if people... This is like a life lesson or life skill or something keeping your mind. When somebody is pressed for you to drink something, I'm good. You yeah. know what? I'm actually not drinking tonight. Big facts. And he, he said made it like his, three or four times. He's like, come he on and sounded, drink up. He mm-hmm. sounded like it was poison every time he said it. Nah. He's like, this is poison. You should drink it. He has, That's basically. He, he has a, uh, what do you call that? A mischievous face. Like he has yeah. an evil Yeah, face. Like he does though, right? Was, yeah, even when he was just like having conversations, like you look evil. Like yeah, you're not but, even trying. But before that <laughs> moment when, when Kelly Rowland went to the DR after everything was all found out. Oh, First of all, man. you got me fucked and, up. I don't and, fuck with you, but I'm gonna come back from yeah. paradise. Make it make sense. Fucked up. Hell Yo, and then when she sprayed it in the face with the blue stuff. <laughs> and can we talk about so you've been doing all this running in the DR? Yeah, right? long sleeve shirt, long that, sleeve pants. Cool, Come that's on. fine. Like and you're training for something. It could have been early in the morning. Then you get to this house. You, it's literally <laughs> your life on the line, and you're not taking off like a track star, right? Come on, are man. you? Are you bugging? Come on, man. And we, I, I ain't about gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't appreciate the way my nigga punched Kelly in the face. I don't care if it's yo. Or he not. punched the bricks off of her. Oh you know, no, that up, was crazy. Nigga. That, that was, was wild. Oh, that was some wild yeah, shit. And then wild. my nigga got I, my nigga I, flew I, out the trap. Yo, whoo. Hey, I, I. let's talk about the mom real quick. And I'm glad it was a white how, woman. Yeah, me too. She was it just made too it evil. So fucking easy to not like her. Oh, hey, yeah. she, she was black so woman. Evil. You'd be like, I get it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it was hard raising two black yeah. sons. No, no, no. It's a white woman. Oh, that oh, she evil. just being mean. She just no, being she mean just to be First mean. of all, yo, how I don't know too many that people. Phone, though? Right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bitch. <laughs> that shit's made out of gorilla glass. <laughs> that shit ain't. <laughs> bitch. And she put her whole might in right? that knee. You hear me? Can we be honest? How many people you know on cancer just be drinking all the time? <laughs> well, we we can't be drinking all every time you well, turn. Yeah, yo, when, I'm not gonna hold you. All if it's stage, if it's stage four, I'm taking it to the hood. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, you know what fair. I mean. Depending yeah, on the, fair. you know, your diagnosis. Might as well have a good time. It. Ball right. till we, you know, ball till we fall. I'm, uh, shit. Respectfully, and <laughs> that sounds like an alcoholic, but y'all know, what? keep it up. <laughs> so. <laughs> You talking about the car? First of all, <laughs> she had to she she had to kill Mississippi like that. Ooh. Yo, she stabbed the fuck it. She stabbed her the fuck up. I was really hoping her and Mississippi get away together. I right? thought that would have been fun. Nah, but it, it, it's a little of the fittest. Honestly, imagine if they the got blame. away together. I hate to put the blame on anybody. I hate to put the blame on anybody. <laughs> No, you. I hate to put the blame on anybody. <laughs> Who's the blame? Especially a black woman. But if Mississippi never cheated on her husband, bro, none of this, this would have never happened. That's all I gotta say. We would have had an actual court case. We would have yes. had a better storyline or shit. Ah, yeah. we would have had an actual fucking court case. Uh, why don't you come back out to the house from DR? I send my guys. What? <laughs> send your guys now. I'm staying here. Uh, that now, shit didn't make sense. What would have been the craziest storyline if them two escaped and went back and had a threesome with old boy? I'd be like, this shit crazy, boy. That's, Ooh, that some sister wives? That would have been some Dirty D shit. That's, that would have happened that, in the Dirty D. Dirty D. In yeah, the Dirty for D, sure. They would have escaped. But I thought we were going to. I'm Zion. not going to hold you. Let me shut up. I'm not going to say that. But <laughs> I'm not I was, gonna, I'm Fuck it. I'm going to say it. It's a safe space. It was not far from Dirty D. It, it was wasn't. not. It wasn't. It, it was like a rung above. Was, yeah, a notch. Yeah, Where are we a little it, bit. Out it was of, not far from Dirty D. Out of just uh, ten, what mm-hmm. what do you what do you rate? Ten this? being Dirty D. Oh uh, no, one being terrible. Ten. This is one of the greatest movies I've ever seen. Oh, Where fucking negative, negative ten. Yeah, I would give it. A Shout out to respect. Kelly though. 
Yeah, she I'll give it a little. I'll give it a, I'll give it a three for three. Kelly, Kelly you did what you could. You entertainment did what you could. wise, I was oh. I entertained? Seven. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The quality brings it down a lot. I give it like a five. Oh, you giving it a lot. I give it three. Okay, five. maybe a four. I give four. it a four. I felt four, four is fair. Four. four is fair. And four is because a lot of the entertainment. Well, so you really, know what it is? Five is literally because the pure joy of me watching the movie. That's how strongly I feel felt okay. what, like entertained wise. I would but say four, a four makes or sense. Five. Yeah. Four makes four or sense. Five. You know, because the go quality, four. you know. I go four. Yeah. Shout out to uh, uh Tyler Perry, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Kelly no, Rowland. Don't keep doing hey, what you do I will say this. About. I will say this. I believe Kelly should. She, I think this. Make, she deserves another league role. No, well, I think yeah, she for does. sure. I oh, yeah, will. Get. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the mic for Kel Kel. She has a lot of movies on Hallmark. You know, yes, yeah, she does. Lifetime, a lot of the cute, great Christmas ones. Little yeah. Christmas movies. So Kelly's been that girl. She's she been, been protagonist. Who's that girl? Um, like bigger budget you know, movie though, we could yeah, see, I could see I, it one day. I like even that if her she don't get the main role. Increasing. You know, she's yeah. getting more expensive. I can see role. Transform, even if she don't you know get a main role, if she, she get like a side role, like she be like, oh look at Kelly, like mm-hmm. popping up. She got like yeah. maybe t- ten lines. That's a lot of lines for a side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I think she'd be good. I think this is good for her. That's why I'm like happy. It was like it was actually he put money in it. One thing we didn't see displayed in this movie was big back energy. Now, this is something that <laughs> this is something that has been discussed. In the I'll last be honest, couple low key, now, I think low key, this, it was big back energy. Do you think energy that was big back movie. energy? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. whoa! Before okay. we get too carried big, away, I, I, I gotta, I gotta let correct me, you, Tyler. Let me set the scene up for you, please. Okay. This week, this week, um, there was a lot of. Uh, Feedback from the who mm, the fuck on, did I back. marry girl, Reese's Tisa is that her name? Reese's I believe Tisa. Reese's Reese Tisa, um, on the Breakfast Club. Okay, Jess hilarious was explaining the TikTok phenomenon to mm-hmm. uh, DJ Envy and Charlemagne the God, and Charlemagne said this is giving big back energy. the The girl felt like she. Charlemagne called her a big back, mm-hmm. which if we do listen to it, he did not call anyone a big back. He just said mm-hmm. this video is no, what the way he heard it felt like the woman was giving big back energy. He never even saw the woman. <laughs> That's so big back energy has been like the big topic this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Casey, how do you feel about the whole thing? <clears throat> Damn, I got it. I, I should have put glasses on. My so th- I'm gonna break this down because there's so many layers to this. First things first, Charlemagne. I don't believe he needed to give that girl an apology. I don't think that mm. he was. Mm. In- I don't think he was saying what he said was okay, but I don't think it was necessarily him calling her a big bag directly. So I'm I'm just gonna name. Yeah, that. it wasn't I like think- you're a big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like was, it wasn't directed at her. It was he it was wasn't just talking about the topic her, in general. But I will say the feedback I have is that Charlemagne is talking about big back energy, right? And I want to focus it on a big back. When you are saying <laughs> <laughs> some don't make me laugh, Tyler. When you are saying somebody has a big back, what are you insinuating? Don't beat around the bush. When somebody oh, says, a, hey. It, he talking about you, big girls. He talking about you talking girls. about a big a big motherfucker, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, now you say, hold, when somebody said you got a big, the big bag, girl style. Come on, they you know talking, talking about, about somebody girls. that's heavy, not there's a girl. Two, but there's two types no, no, of big no, 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 no. bags. <laughs> when somebody say, "Oh, that big back bitch," <laughs> they yeah. not talking about a come skinny on, Tyler, bitch. Come on, Tyler. Come on. They talking. No, you talking no. about somebody? Else? But but it's not. No, okay, no, no, so, I, no, hit me out. Hit me out for a second. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. What, you got to, what you got to I'm say, I'm not Tyler? done. Wait. So <laughs> because... when you're insinuating somebody has a big back, you're insinuating that they're big. Hold on, Tyler. Let me finish. All right, now. And so when you're saying big back energy, I think I understood what he was trying to say. I think the big back part got to get taken away. You're saying that, oh, you know, she, you know, low self-esteem, didn't believe in herself. I know bitches that are skinny as a fucking toothpick. 
that have low self-esteem, that let a nigga walk all over her. You know what I mean? That do the same dumb shit she does. Point blank. Charlemagne, your wife, she stayed with you after you cheated on her. And this is before Breakfast Club money started rolling in. Is that big back energy? You know what I mean? No, nah, she, she cheated on him too, being, though. You she know what I mean? They cheated on him too. They, they, yeah, they was cheating on each other. They cheated on each other. But I'm saying but this still, to say, you, know. you wouldn't say, oh, he, be, <laughs> No, wouldn't say that, big no. back energy. I understand what he was trying to say. He's trying to say that's low self-esteem. That's loser yeah. energy. But the fact that we constantly compare or put being heavy with low self-esteem, it we pair it together like it's it goes, oh, you can't have one without the other. There are people that are heavy set and low self-esteem for sure. But there are also people that are skinny with low self-esteem. Everybody has something that they're insecure about. I unfortunately feel like it's always the bigger person who gets the brunt of it because it's like, oh, well, you're heavy, so you got to be low self-esteem. No, I know bitches that are my size and bigger that have amazing self-esteem and are extremely confident. So I say this to say the big back energy is not something that can go because it doesn't, it's not applicable to everybody and it's not accurate. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I understand what he was trying to say, and I think that was Reese's, Ressa Tessa, I think that Tisa, was her yes. Risa Tisa, I think that was her point in bringing that up. It's like <clears> by <throat> you saying, "Oh, I got big back energy," you're insinuating that one, I'm I'm heavy, and two, I'm low. I have low self esteem because I'm heavy, mm. and I think that is where we have the issue. The points that he was bringing, like, "Oh, she allowed this because she has, you know, she didn't believe in herself. She was desperate to get married, and all those things can be true and are tr- were true." And she even named that. But I think now we have to take away this stigma of big back, meaning like, oh, you're heavy, so you have no self-esteem. Or you're heavy, so you allow niggas to do all this type of shit. There's skinny bitches allowing niggas to do all type of shit too. So it's not necessarily that it's the energy piece, it's the big back piece. You could be big mm. and confident. You could be skinny and not confident. So I think that's the thing. Now, Tyler, when somebody say big back, they talking about a motherfucker being heavy. I'm not trying to hear whatever else you trying to say. <laughs> you know what? I, hey, look. I agree with you. I can't even I imagine what you. else you'd say. I Do you know what I mean? You. Tyler, you big back bitch. <laughs> They're talking about you I agree being with heavy. You. Nobody is calling you a big back and not insinuating that you're heavy. Uh, <sighs> nah, because there's, there's certain big girls I wouldn't put in a big back. Category. No, no, no. We're not categorizing. <laughs> no, but that's the, that's the thing. That's fair. Though, that's fair. That's, that's fair. That's what, but hit me out, yeah. though. I got, some, I got some questions about what you said. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I was listening. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Now, what... What... Okay. What What do you mean, low self-esteem? Just... just. I want. I know I probably shouldn't okay, know so what you mean, but... Low... No, no, but this is a great question. Can't... Because can't... Well, I'll let you ask... I'll, I got another question after that, but what do you mean by low self-esteem? So low self-esteem is when you you don't value or appreciate yourself. You don't see your true worth is when you think you're less than what you actually are, right? Okay. And so in, in this situation, she, but I wouldn't even say that, I think it was a mixture for her, like of low self-esteem and being desperate to be married and have like a family and yada, yada, yada. But she didn't understand like, Oh, this nigga's willing to buy me a tire or this nigga's willing to do this. I got to take whatever because I don't know what I'm truly worth. Like, I don't know um, my, I'm not confident in myself. I'm not confident in getting somebody that is better than Legion or that can give me more than Legion. Legion's giving me the bare minimum, but I have nobody giving me anything like that. Right? Mm, And so if I think less of myself, any attention is good attention. So, okay, so you believe if she had confidence, mm-hmm. she wouldn't have been able to be taken advantage of in that way. It may or it is wouldn't there have, is there a correlation or is there not? I think I, I do think there's a somewhat of a correlation, right? I think if you are somebody that is unsure of yourself, right, and you don't know your own worth, then you can't hold the next person, partner, whoever to that standard you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. if you don't know where you are in the standard of like hey i'm a cool person i'm phenomenal i know what i'm worth i know what to accept and what not to accept 
that's different. So if a guy come in and he's showing you 50, but you've been giving yourself 20, that 50 is going to look like 100 in comparison to your 20. Okay. Mm. Yeah, okay. So there's the question. At one point, at one point does someone say, mm. okay, what this person is doing for me is legit exceeding in expectation. Mm-hmm. That's like, what, what, what is that? What is that? I think, I think that depends on the person. That's right. Fair. So I mean, it, it depends cause clearly on the she don't, so she don't buy tires. I mean, <laughs> she, at all. She, <laughs> at all. She, she, she was so oh, yeah, enamored she... with him buying her a fucking one tire. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's fucking wild to me. But Craziness. my thing is, it also too, she I think of, I think the other thing too is like you have to find, and we've had this conversation before, but you have to find what are you valuing, right? Like there are men who can do the the materialistic, the monetary things, right? And it's like, cool, you got that front, but you don't know how to like, you know, appeal to my love languages. You don't know how to make me feel like a woman. You don't know how to make me feel cared for outside of physicality, outside of like monetary things. Right. But for somebody, it's like, hey, the monetary shit is on lock It's tight. That's enough for me to feel amazing. Like I'm good. So it really just depends on you as a person and what you need at that time, because I also believe that that can shift, that can change. So I think, you know, she when she met this guy, she was probably at a point where, hey, I just need a motherfucker to really make something shake. Like, I need you to put something on these bills. And you know what I mean? So she was enamored and smitten because at the time she probably really needed that That at that moment she's like I need a partner who could provide right and we talk about this most of the time you want to be with somebody who is a provider and so at she was probably at a moment in her life where she felt like one she was desperate to get married and she named that so I'm not making anything up she was desperate to get married desperate to have kids um and wanted a provider wanted somebody who can give her that life and she saw that now she saw it in um a very like I don't want to say like it was very micro like it wasn't the nigga yeah. didn't do nothing crazy like he didn't <laughs> yeah it's like she literally had a, all she wanted was someone to pay the bills and be with her mm-hmm. that's all it was yeah like it didn't matter what he did as long as she had someone sitting next to her on going to bed with somebody and someone she could like say I love yeah, and he pay my bills because that's mm-hmm. all he did was pay her bills and tell her she loved he she loved uh, he loved her. Yeah, I will say this, board, um, and we talked. They didn't about even this. fuck like that. She even said it. Right. She's like, yeah. I'm not gonna get graphic, but you're not even <laughs> getting dingling like that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> we talked about this in the group chat, but big back energy is not negative nor positive, right? No, no, no. I, it's I, negative. What, no, what no, no thoroughly. Because oh, here's the thing. God. No, listen, listen, hear me out. Because I put this in the group chat. I just did a whole right. Spiel. I just Tyler, put this in the Tyler, group chat. Tyler looks at me and he's like. <laughs> Because yeah. When, yeah. if a if a girl's giving if a girl giving big back energy to a good dude, nigga be like, damn, she's solid, boy. <laughs> she she really rocking with it, nigga. I need to hold this down. I'm down. It's an energy we that need, can be I, taken I advantage said, of. Let's I, not use big back energy. <laughs> I'm saying it's an energy that can be taken advantage of. Wait. If a wrong nigga, if it's putting the wrong please, nigga's hand. Please get on the mic, Jalen. Go ahead, Jay. I, I just got a question. I thought that was big arm energy. I didn't know that was big back energy. Big arm energy? Yeah. No, no, aunt, they be no cooking. not the auntie arms. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah, the nah, auntie arms. That's what I nah, thought No, that's was. good, too. That's good, too. That's what you, I think. That's what I thought you meant, No, Tyler, that's I heard that before. I heard that's, for big that's back That's a different energy. energy. When you call someone big back, that's an insult. When you that's say someone big arms, that's, that's not a really different. Big that's back, a different big energy. Big back energy is negative. There's no yeah. positive. Arm, yeah. Big yeah. arm energy Like what Casey would say, big back. big back bitch. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. I'm a big, big back bitch. No, you. I'm big, a big arm back energy. Bitch. That's a, it sounds aggressive. It doesn't big sound arm. nice. It's, it's different from the big back. You trying not, to be y'all, I'm trying to be yo, flattered. you're crazy, Tyler. Ain't no it's way that's a positive. Big look back. I'm trying to the, tell you. The, yo, I seen a look, I bro. seen a big of a, 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 a swole ass dudes that have big back energy because the nigga was swole as shit. But like Mm-mm. that didn't make no sense because when you think big back, you think of like a, a fucking you think of a fat person, Tyler. Jesus, man, why you gotta keep yeah, making me say he, it? He, he, he be 
this is but this is what I, I will I will say, and then I'm I'm gonna shut I'm gonna shut my mouth. I would say that there is a lot that can be learned from her situation. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, uh, y'all, I be trying to have dead ass serious points. I'll be I trying say, to. <laughs> oh, you fucking no, right. Okay. All right. No, <laughs> you ain't going to hit me out you know on the big bad energy. You, you know? don't take shit serious. <laughs> The fact that he's still, I literally said, hey, Big Back Energy is negative. You can use that, guys. Tyler's like, Big Yo, why Back you Energy. Trolling? Why are you trolling? <laughs> it's fuck, bro. Okay. He really saying. thought about this too. This, a for effort, T. A for effort. So my, this is my thing. There's a lot to learn from her situation. And I think, yes, we can talk about like, quote unquote, you know, her energy and how it was off. But I also will say it also shines a light on desperation and how when you're so desperate to take any and anything, you get into some get into some shit. Because, yes, if her self-esteem was in a better place, absolutely. But also if she hadn't felt like, oh, shit, I'm about to be this age. I got to have kids. I got to get married. Everybody around me is getting married. I got to get married. No, you I think anything that you're seeking in my mom used to call it fever. But, like, when you're desperate for something, it's like, I'm going to do whatever it fucking takes to get it. When you get it, it's never good and it's never worth it. So if you are in a point of your life where you're like, fuck, I really want a partner. I really want something. It's better to wait. Wait it out. Wait it out. The What do they say? Good things come to those who wait. It's not Ooh. worth You know mm. what I mean? Chance it's around. not worth being in a relationship that's clearly not serving you, right? And I'm like... Literally, her words, it wasn't serving her physically. It Damn. wasn't serving her mentally. Damn. He was paying bills. Cool. But these are the same bills you were paying for before. So the motherfucker mm. not adding to your plate. You know what I mean? He's not taking away from your plate. He's adding, if anything. Because now you're giving me social emotional stress. I, I dread my drive home. I always mm. got to be mentally prepared for the bullshit, for the lies. So it's just like, it, it's not worth it. And this is for ladies and gentlemen and those in between. I, I'm Her story, I was just like, oh, I'm good. I could do that all by my fucking self. And I will say this. My girl got a talent agency now. She out mm. here doing photo shoots. Yeah. Okay. You get your blue she, BMW with your cognac interior. With the cognac interior. I think interior. she ended up getting like 80, 80 Gs from uh, TikTok for it. That's what the fuck like I'm talking about, friends. She had hundreds of millions that. of views, too. I just for 80 Gs is crazy. Her. Yeah. Good then for her. Legion ended up doing uh, interviews, and it's very evidently clear, oh, the bitch wasn't lying. <laughs> this motherfucker is a oh, yeah. pathological liar. <laughs> yeah, I watched one of the videos of him talking on TikTok, because he be posting, and... <laughs> He is. He just sound like he lied. He all looking around when he talking. You remember? You, you know that documentary His BS big, High. Big Tyler? loser energy. Tyler, you remember BS High, the documentary? Yep. He was giving that vibe. He looks like that guy when he talks. That's tragic. That's I, how he looks I, I, when he I'm talks. I'm gonna be honest with you, because I, I feel like we all grown. How the fuck we married and we not fucking on each other? That that's not weird. Yeah. It's marriage. It's marriage. <laughs> Y'all not get. Okay. No, no, whoa, 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 no, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I guess mine. I, I guess no, no, mine. I no. I'm saying in general. <laughs> Let me say on this. average, you're not getting average, at least a couple times a week. Like, a lot of, whoa, you, whoa, I, whoa, I, I promise you in marriage, a lot of people, could, that's like the thing about marriage is a nigga be like, come on, we ain't, you ain't getting that. But, yeah. Look, you you Nothing have like, at all, Tyler. You have you have you have ups, you have droughts. Yeah, like, yeah, you have, have droughts. It's roller coaster. Okay, yeah, let me let me let me refine like... it. That early in your marriage, I thought the yeah, newlywed phase, y'all are supposed to be yeah. like inseparable. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's yeah. Bad. Do you know what I mean? I yeah, get it. You know, once you've been married months. a little bit, you kind of get comfortable. Don't get, like trust me. though. I mean, I don't. It's not like how the movies be making it. Yeah, because sometimes, like, like when if you've been together for a little bit, they get married. It's not like how the movies. It don't it. really not, like change. It's not like much, brown like, sugar. It's not like brown yeah. sugar. The week after my nigga got married, and they was just about to leave for work, and they cut. No, that that's just not how the shit works. But yeah, I'm mad that you had a movie in mind already. That happens before <laughs> marriage. Shout out to Tyler. <laughs> that happens before marriage. That's like the one movie I see. Be like, oh, they, that's what they picture newlyweds like. Huh? I, I, I don't know, but for sister to not get nothing, and I'm like, it's so early on for yeah. y'all to be in a. 
a drought. I when like, if, if you add a sink, the big if you add a sink, thing and... is my Go take ahead, on the Jack. big back energy thing is <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's like it sounds like an insult, but I think it's kind of funny. It's still an insult. <laughs> It's still an insult, it's, but I think it's, it's kind like, of funny. oh damn! When I close my eyes, I couldn't see. You. It's That's like it's like a fucked That's up. That's an insult. Thing to think it's funny, funny but yeah. it's an insult. It's not a yeah, comment. no, it's still an insult, but I think yeah, it's yeah. I think it's funny. I think he was trying to be funny, and then and, and it didn't land well. It didn't land the way he thought it was. He thought because like I, I never really even heard big back energy like that, but I knew what it meant. Yeah. As soon as he said it, I got yeah, it. like I knew what it meant, and that, that's that's tragic. That's just that's like... That's tragic. You know what? And I think that the shit that's, that's tragic the, the, about it is that, like, Charlemagne has made so much growth. You know what I mean? He claims... Well, I mean not say claims, but he's done so much growth on himself, and he's, you know, brought up mental health and things like that. So I think that's why I was disappointed in it. Because it's like, mm. fuck, you don't know this girl's mental state. Because that's the other thing, too. Not to say, like, you know, yes, some people, you know, we've gotten a little too sensitive with things. But I will say, when it comes to somebody's, like, personal being, like, you don't know. Remember when yeah. Chadwick lost all that weight and just the mess mm-hmm. was, you know, rail, you know, ripping on him? Yeah. Ended up being sick. We don't know if this girl yeah. got thyroid problems. Yeah, you don't Fun know. Fact, if you got thyroid problems, you, you know, you're a she, little heavy. She's never, she's never really been no famous like this before. Yeah. She's getting all these comments, millions and millions of mm-hmm. comments. Some people, millions of people calling her stupid. That, that millions of people that agreeing with her. Head. That yeah. you know, you don't know if she going crazy. Yeah. Now, like, I'm not saying like you gotta be sensitive. You can't make fun of her, but like, make fun you know, of her for what she did, not what. Yeah. She now looks, looks, like. looks like there you yeah. go. Yeah. There, yeah. Wow. There you go. We figured it out. Reading Teamwork. Rainbow. Good morning. <laughs> Tell you, man. Tell you. Yep. Oh God. Shout out to uh the voluptuous women. God bless you. <laughs> Skinny hey, bitches another... too. Y'all matter. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Heart titties. What did, what we say the other day? What, the... <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, Tyler oh, is oh, on one like, today. Hear the heartbeat. Sorry, I had a root canal. I had a root canal. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> He's blaming it on That's drugs. That's rich. That's really, really rich. <laughs> Hey man, let's Yo, this, he didn't go to work yesterday. He had all day to think about random shit. <laughs> let's 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 move on to some music, man. First, I'm gonna get off to some news that for some reason I've just been walking over. J. Cole dropped about a nine minute video. Yeah. Called Might Delete This Later. Uh did he ever delete it? I don't know. It's still up. Ironically, it's not under his page. You just gotta type in Might Delete This Later. And you'll see it, right? And mm-hmm. let me just say, um, Cole has a pattern when it comes to releasing music, mm-hmm. right? Normally, he going to give you a, ever since 2014, Forest Hills Drive, he gives you a short video, mm-hmm. 10, 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying, leading up to the album. Uh, the Might Delete This Later video, uh, it's a mix of like him on tour with Drake. They posting like uh, posters of the fall off album, but in the middle of the video, this nigga just drops bars. There's a whole music video in the middle of this joint. No oh, word, nigga just going crazy. And then it's like clips of him talking about how he he been so focused on the rap and he ain't done production in a minute. They do like a throwback to him when he was producing, um, uh, uh, the song off of Born Center. Uh, she knows. They go mm-hmm. do a little throwback Ooh. to that. They got clips of Drake uh, and Eve all in the video. It's just like, uh, you you know, it's like a classic rap nigga video. But in the middle, of that muff, the motherfucking bars he was dropping, I said, oh, oh, he ready. I, it's like he, I, like he is ready for this last. I don't want to call it the last album. The yeah. fall off probably is just the last of like whatever vision he's had for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would hope it's not really the last, but he's he's been telling us the for fall like off is, is coming. Six years. For about now. five years. Yeah, yeah. But if you ain't uh hopefully he ain't deleted yet, but now it's, it's, up, it's called volume one, so he might have another one. Volume one. It's 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 fine. Um so shout out to Cole on that one. Couple release not even a couple release days. Big shout out to Sir. Uh he dropped the Sir. track list for his new album called Heavy. 
which will be coming out March 22nd. I'm Nigga got swole. He look Nigga heavy. He got swole for this one. Yeah. He looking heavy. Yeah. <laughs> like, Big as hell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Cardi B dropped a single for like what? She sampled the Missy Elliott. Uh, she oh, that, K- uh, that yo, KZ. KZ, don't say it. <laughs> don't say it, hey. KZ. Hey, but, uh, Cardi, <laughs> we don't need another fucking single. We need a fucking album. Not an EP, puta. We need a fucking album. I'm so fucking tired of these fucking singles. Don't even give me... Uh, oh. Take a second, please. <laughs> I, I, I get worked up because I give a fuck about Cardi. Because I know what she was fucking love hip-hop Cardi, okay? Because, you know, some of these bitches, y'all Cardi fans, but y'all hopped on after, she, you know what I mean? After fucking Bodak Yellow blew up, everybody, oh, Car- no, no, no. I was fucking with Cardi before Bodak Yellow. I saw the potential. Invasion of Privacy, phenomenal piece of work. <laughs> Chef's fucking kiss. <laughs> and ever since then, Booth, I want some pop kids. Cool. You know, be a mother. Yeah. Use your womanhood and shit. Now all you doing is dropping fucking singles. And I'm going to tell you this, guys. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to lose my fucking shit if she drops a fucking album and it's all these fucking singles on it. And only two new fucking songs. That is going... I'm going to fucking lose my shit. Cardi, we don't want a fucking single. And then you get on and talk about Coach. Bitch, not too fucking much. So now you know Coach is going to go up in price, even though Coach was already expensive because Megan Thee Stallion decided to get a fucking uh, a partnership with the motherfuckers. So Coach was already not fucking $2. Now that shit's about to be Hermes money. You know what, Cardi? Don't say a fucking thing until you're dropping an album. I'm fucking, I'm unimpressed. And then, like what? Like what the fuck? Yeah, like what the fuck is this? You're right. What is this, Cardi? Because that's the other thing too. The song it had to grow on me. I have not played the song since it dropped. Cardi, what, what's what's happening to the sauce? It's a freestyle. Are you forgetting the pepper, the salt, the paprika? The Tonys, what the fuck is going on? This song does not eat. Anybody that sits here and tells me, oh, this is a banger, you're sucking dick. You're a dick rider. I'm a big Cardi fan, but I'm going to keep it a fucking bean. Cardi, get back in the fucking booth. Don't come out until you got a, a, a due date for the project. I'm dead ass serious. You better give birth to some shit. For real, for real. And don't hit me with mad features either. Get in there. I want Cardi that was rapping in the fucking bathroom in the projects. That's the Cardi I'm fucking looking for. Bitch, come on. Because uh, I, hey, I'm, I'm going to shut the fuck up now. Let me say, hey, I, I don't I. think, I, I I agree with you, Casey. I don't think this video, does. I don't think this song deserved a music video. Yeah. I think this is one of those songs that go at the end of an album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The end of a what? Just, I want you to stamp that last, that, that part for me. End of an album, mixtape. Album. A body of work. Body of work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I be- and now that I think about it, all of the... I know I know she normally probably gets a lot of these music videos paid for through sponsorships throughout the video, but it's And then like- Offset directed it, so we fucking with him again? You know how exhausting it is <laughs> to fucking be a Cardi B fan? That ass. I swear to God, I feel like Cardi is... Me and Cardi are locked in. We're best friends. You know what I mean? And so it's like if my best friend was like, oh, I'm fucking on that nigga again, I'm going to punch you in your fucking mouth. Because I done said that I'm going to, you know, kill all his family, dig up his dead homies. and You know what I mean? I'm out here ready to risk it all to kill the motherfucker. And then now you back with Buki and them holding hands and shit? You letting him direct your music video? Get the fuck up out of here, bro. I'm not trying to hear none of this shit. That shit really pissed me off. I'm not going to hold you. One, you're not dropping the album. You you dropping the single, and then oh oh, on top of that, the motherfucker directed the the, the fucking video. Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay, I'm done big, for real time. Big shout out to Schoolboy Q. Big shout out to Schoolboy Q. He dropped Blue Lips on uh, March first. Uh, J K C. Either y'all tune into any. I of did. It? I listened to any, any? Uh, the first couple songs. It sounds like classic Schoolboy so far. 
I just I need to listen to okay, it at I've the gym. I haven't downloaded. I haven't listened. When I, to when it. I go back to the gym on it Monday, does, I'm gonna listen um, to it because I I I love Schoolboy Q. I listen to every single album that comes out. I love that name. Pause. I, I did get. I did feel like. Uh, Why did you have to pause? I don't know. After you I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know. I said it. This felt. Um, this feels a little bit like uh, blank face. Blank face. My yeah, favorite. Blank Schoolboy face Q. was good. Mm. Blank face. My favorite. This feels a little bit like it, not as hard, not as hard pause, like 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 on some thug nigga shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But the production was very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. A lot like of tempo. In a good way? Yeah, yeah. Like some, I I feel like I ain't heard this type of production. Really, it's a lot of tempo mm-hmm. changes in in a lot of the songs. It's a lot of like real classic shit, but then speed it up. Like a mix of a whole lot of surreal pop of beats that I just ain't yeah. really heard of before. <laughs> I think at the moment my favorite song would be "Thank God for mm-hmm. Me." Um, that was a good one. And uh, but but I, I respect. It. I like I like what he got going on. I think I listened to him one and a half. I do mean to keep going, but I've been like I've been listening to like you gotta you gotta like radio. real listen to school. Just trying stuff to just too. trying to listen to a lot more stuff nowadays. You gotta yeah. let it. Me, that's why I haven't too because I have I want to make sure that I'm like di- like absolutely listening to it. Have no yeah. distractions. No because he be going telling on. stories too. Um, yeah, you gotta take a yeah. walk. Yeah, you gotta take a walk. <laughs> no, but it's, that it's is classic, smoke, you gotta classic smoke, TDE you know? though. Like it's gotta be yeah. a yeah. Have you a nice yeah. one? You gotta yeah, plan. Yeah. It's classic to TDE for I, sure. I, I like I for said, sure, I'm just happy he's back because you know he's been he's been down since Mac Miller. You know that was his real cl- playing plan. golf. Yeah. yeah real, oh, that's why. He just, why yeah, he was, he's just uh, worried about raising his daughter and making music, and then Mac Miller passed, Seriously? and he just focused on his daughter. And he was like, oh, yeah, so sad. Not the darken up the mood but he look good he look though good. man nigga lost weight golfing good nigga, nigga 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 yeah man i think the shout album's good him, personally man. from what i've heard so far yeah it's solid mm. it's solid shout yeah. out to q last thing man meek mill dropped the ep called heathenism <laughs> let me just say <laughs> for for five songs um really solid really solid i think it's really it's good it's only five I think. songs it's five songs yeah. um he was like, I'm going back to the old Meek on this one. And I think he really did. I think he pulled it off. I, th- I thought it was really good. Uh, Jay, you laughing? I wish I knew more <laughs> I about the situation, swear. but like, it's so funny. It's called Heathenism. We ain't going to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. I wish yeah. I knew more about the nah, situation, man, um, but that shit's hilarious. <laughs> it's like it was planned. Yeah. Uh, we... <laughs> We ain't gonna get into the madness of Meek Mill right now, but I do like the EP. I think he was uh really good. Let me go. He had a jump with Future that was solid. I'm forgetting the name, uh, but the jump with Future, uh, why why the fuck am I offline? The jump with Future was hard. Um, and yeah, yeah, y'all check that out. Y'all check that yeah. out too, man. All right, uh, I'm good. I'm done with music. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really had to get that. Show. No, no, no. Okay, that was amazing. Thank that you. That felt was great. I'm. I really. I really. Had I knew to let he that was go. gonna do it I'm too. So sorry. I knew he was gonna do. It. That's why I was like, Casey, don't I, do it. <laughs> I dead ass. I had to let it go. Cardi called me. Oh, oh, oh. One more. One more oh, thing. One more thing. Just for shits. Just for shits and giggles, man. If you're really into meditation, Little John <laughs> hey, dropped a total it's meditation. It's actually not oh, that really? bad. It's solid. Yeah. It's actually I'm gonna, solid. I'm gonna have to check it out then. I'm gonna have to check it out. It's ironic, but it's is it it's funny? Because this is the same nigga that said, or is it like he takes it completely the first, the first in the intro, he, he's serious in the intro though. He's like, I know I like to turn up, but sometimes I have to turn down. <laughs> and I was like, No, but he was actually dead ass. He was dead ass. I didn't want to listen to it. <laughs> no, no, no. He he I would have listened to it just because he said check that. Check out. He had yeah. to though. Like, it's check like out the total John. total meditation, man. Total meditation album and uh, I don't know some other shit, man. I tried listening to Five Year Foreign, nigga, solid. I ain't gonna get into it too much though. Oh, you know what? I I realized I've only heard him like on like other yeah. people's shit or like in passing. I've never like sat down and listen like, to an album. Listen, I've to never listened shit. to a Five Year Foreign yeah. album. I don't think. I it, yeah, no, I don't. I went, you it, you said it was good, Tyler, or the from the the parts that I heard, you know, a drill music sounds 
like the same to me in every song. Yeah, same so here. sometimes mm. it's hard to be like, oh, it's good. Yeah, the formula is very mm-hmm. copy and paste. But honestly. it wasn't. It's not. I don't think you could have a bad drill song. If you're a decent artist, I don't think you can make a bad drill yeah. song. Because right. drill, slide, is, glow drill is just like a solid. We ain't gonna talk about Chacha Slide. Birdie's still up on it. Cause she had Fabio she on that shit. She really. Oh, that shit can I ask your son real quick? Cause we got mm-hmm. what, fifteen minutes. Which drill do you think is better? Cause I was just listening. I was watching Top Boy the other day. London drill. I thought that was grime <laughs> or, or the New York drill. Is it grime is different from the London? Oh, okay, drill. okay grime is a different uh, genre. Okay, so you say, can I get the list? What are we like comparing? Just London drill, the, the mm. London drill versus like the New York or the Chicago drill scene. So Just, I'm 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 biased as fuck. I'm always gonna say New York. New York drill is like the bar. Right, and I even say Chicago can kind of like they could share the same show. I will say the drill overseas is different. (laughs) I can't get into it. I think there was I told. Remember I told y'all about one one four or something like that. They're like in New Zealand or some shit, and they're doing drill. It's like (laughs) it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's like the accents too thick. It's just it doesn't hit the same. This is what I always say, KC. I just can't take them serious for some reason. I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. I can't take them yeah. serious. I just can't. I just can't. I it. And in I, UK, they're like, yeah, that, like that, 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 you know, it sounds like, like they're. It sounds like fucking, they're making. Yeah, like they're, like they're make, having like making jokes. It sounds like they're imitating. I, think, um, I hate to say this, yeah, but it sounds like they're imitating us and making fun of that's us. That's what it feels like to mm. me. Like what they yeah, hear when they. Yeah, I can. That's what that. it feels like to me. Yeah, Tyler. Uh-uh. Yeah. That overseas that's interesting. Shit. I mean, that's interesting. I, but the shit is, people go crazy yeah. for it. Like, you know what I mean? So much that they needed to do a fucking like. Doc it's good. I, like I could see why people cool. think it's good, but when I hear it, yeah. I feel like it's mocking us. Like, uh, like mm. so, like mm. it's not like I don't know whether to take. Yeah, it exactly. Serious. So, like, it, nothing. To, I I could recognize it's good, but like, it, I think it's because I feel like we started hip hop. That like they get it and now it's mm-hmm. not like the same. It's like how how I feel like yeah. most other countries hip hop and rap. I feel like they're just trying to copy us, but in their own way, and it it just sounds like this ain't for y'all. I mean, they they have open Gundam style. Like y'all have that. <laughs> but see, <laughs> I think. <laughs> but that, I'm not saying that that's hip hop army. But I'm like that's y'all yeah. shit. Y'all y'all like yeah. K-pop. You, y'all like, have that. That K-pop. shit goes crazy, but like. <laughs> Should go hard. Yeah, stay exactly. there though. I think no. we got better production. I think we got better production. We just understand I, it a little bit like more. London, you know? I think the London, the London rappers. I think they rap better over over. I mean, shit. that's where the English language came wise, from. I think we sense. got it though. They know more words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, Jay, man, we're going to Jada's Nerd Corner, man. So this week, Doom Part yes, 2. Yes, this weekend, this weekend, Doom Part 2 finally dropped after being delayed and, you know, waiting three years for the, the continuation of the story, the first movie. And I'm going to tell you right now, that shit was a hit, bro. That shit was fire. That shit, it was yeah, that shit made me want to stand up in the seat and be like, let's fucking go. Like, that movie was good. It... Now I get I get why a lot of people are probably apprehensive of seeing it because like the first one mm-hmm. for some reason I remembered it was like slow and boring, but then when I rewatched it, it was all build up. Yeah, because it, it's all build up. But when I rewatched it, I was like, oh, this actually isn't as bad as like boring or as I remembered. So I was like, okay, it made me more excited for the the second one to come out. I was like, oh shit, this is actually like if you sit down and like pay attention, you're like oh shit, I'm excited for this next half and. Let me tell you right now, mm-hmm. Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Florence Pugh, and Austin Butler, the four of them, them, them the new movie stars. I'll tell you that right now. The main four cast of the movie, they fucking, Zendaya was a bad bitch in that movie. And I just thought it was, I just, I'm just, I thought it was a I good know, that's movie. Why it was period. literally like just beautiful to watch, you know, like it was just like, right. the shit that the director did, um. Denny Villa Villanue, he he fucking that. Come on, right? I know the names. I'm talking about them. My research, but um, yeah, I just think like the movie, like like 
it's just like you're in awe of how everything looks. Like he was saying something like he makes he doesn't do he doesn't like dialogue in movies. He's like you go to the movie theaters to see like be entertained by the screen by the images, and like he really when he when he says that he really means that shit because like you're watching this shit like yo how the fuck did they do like it just like the whole movie mm-hmm. in itself is just filmed beautifully. It's a great movie, you know what I'm saying now. KC and I was talking about this earlier. Couldn't she couldn't get into it? She said she couldn't get into it. I can't. Let me. I'm gonna explain the basis of Dune to see if this can get you going. All right. So basically, Dune takes place in like the this future universe is like ten thousand years in the future, and it's at a time in like the universe where like we've evolved past using computers. To the point where, like, Ooh, come on, evolve, right? Man. To the point where, like, okay. we just have like human computers, like they just do the shit in their own head and it's spit it out, right? So this is the world we're living in, and there's an emperor of all the galaxy, and there's this planet called Arrakis. It's the Doom because it's a desert planet, right? And they get spice from there, and they use the spice from the planet to space travel and it gets you high and shit it's basically like just drugs like and it makes you able to like space travel super fast and shit right gives you powers and shit too Mm -hmm. right so like this one family is in charge of it right and they're evil and the emperor Mm -hmm. basically goes you guys ain't running it no more get out and gives it to the other family the family of the main character paul atreides right so then they bring his family into the into the dune and then the Harkin is a pissed and the emperor does this because he wants them to fight because the house of Atreides has just gotten too noble and too powerful and he's jealous. And like madness ensues because he does because of that one thing. Cause it's basically over drugs. It's basically like space of drugs, like like that like, goes in space. <laughs> the way I explained it. But it's really good. Like, it's a vast story. And it's, like, the main character, he's, like, supposedly the messiah. Yeah, I do it's, like it's space. And I do really like good. Space. Really good movie. Dude, from what I read for the first movie, mm. right, uh, Star Wars is heavily influenced yes. by Doom. Doom was kind of, like, the first uh, sci- like the first major sci-fi thing that, like, created its own world. It's got books. Also, for Dune days. was before yeah. Star Wars. The book yeah. came out like yeah. 1966. George, George Lucas. And then yeah. Star Wars came out in 77. For it. George Lucas it was heavily inspired by and Dune. Um, watching the movie, you see it's, it. It's a very interesting. If you know Star Wars, you watch the movie, you yeah. see it. Like, it's not yeah. exactly the same, but like, you see it. But you can make yeah, the Even connection. the writer even said, yeah. I don't know whether I should sue George Lucas or not. Because I like Star Wars, but like, mm. so like it, you can see it though. It's like it's not clear, but like, it's subtle. Mm. But yeah, I think it, the movie was fucking spectacular. The twist at the end, a twist at the end, you don't even see it coming. You're like, what yeah. the fuck? It's a good movie, action packed, way more action packed than the first one. I'm like selling the movie to you, Casey. I'm trying. I don't know. No, Jay I'm really. Convinced. You said narcos in space and kind of the way I explained it felt like that. But yeah, to no, me the it synopsis felt like. Was uh, good. It was a I also synopsis. forgot that on me, this planet like... Arrakis, there's original people, the Fremen, and okay. yeah, that's a whole factor into the universe of Dune too. That's where Zendaya's from. Mm. That's where her character is. Mm. To me, it felt like a story of white people trying to invade. Africa. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. White uh, savior, com- <laughs> white savior shit, and everything. Yeah, yeah, be, very, yeah like, very much because so. uh, okay, okay, okay. Dune, like you said, Dune has this major resource mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. everyone is trying to use, and it's like whoever controls that is kind of like mm-hmm. the niggas trying to explore. And there's also this yeah. group of witches. In the background, in control of everything. Oh, shit. This yeah, 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 and yeah, they planted man. the seeds into the native people of, of the of the Doom planet, the Fremen. That the yeah. main character Paul Atreides is the Messiah. So, like yeah. for generations, saying the Messiah is coming, the Messiah is coming, the Messiah is coming, 
And then they start yeah. planting the seeds because they're in the shadows whispering in everyone's ears and spreading their religion. That th- So the main character, the whole question of this whole movie is like, is he the Messiah? Like, is he the one to come to save the Fremen and this and that? And Mm, and the okay. main character, he also has this power. Yeah, he has the power of the witches because his mama. Yeah, his mama was a witch. The nigga can tell what anybody do you mean he has what the to do. So the, the witches, witches, the nigga can tell anybody yeah, what they, to do if he says it at a certain yeah, pitch. They'd be like, they'd be like, shut, shut up, up. Okay. sit down. It's like, <laughs> sit yeah, down. That, yeah, <laughs> I'm dead ass, ass. I'm dead ass. Literally, be like, let us yeah. go. And they it's, let go. it's super cool, and, well, as we explained more. Oh, okay. I, you know what? The I witches are bad enough. bitches I think I'm gonna too. Watch the first one, and then I, I'm and they're like, like oh, low key. The wow. witches are low key, and sh- like in the sh- it, everything is because of them. Yeah, the first mm-hmm. Dune is on the HBO. First, yeah, it's on like HBO. It's on Max. HBO Max. If you want to check oh, it out, okay, yeah. okay. It is. It is different watching it. Yeah, theater. like sound wise, it's a lot of it. Real yeah, that's a stuff. given. That's a given. But I think yeah. you but should no, check I, it out. I, I, yeah, we all need the I movie need was so good. It's all over TikTok right now. People are going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. My algorithm. Uh, must I've been added. seeing mad memes <laughs> making fun of the movie. Probably not. <laughs> Mine's totally the KC. <laughs> I just hear word yeah, about shout out to Dal bro, the only dad in the group in the group chat at yeah, the I was moment. Say. Was like, yo, you guys see, dude? I'm like, Staying on that T, yeah. At yeah. the moment, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out, shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody who who uh who been hitting me up for the support. I appreciate all the support. You know what I'm saying? Shit's coming up close. Uh, AJ, thank you, sir. Doing part two. I do need to yeah. check that out. Hopefully, I can please do it see soon. it. I I need to talk to somebody about it. I don't know when I'm going to. Do All this. I got is Jada and me have good movie conversations, but like I need other people to talk about it too. <laughs> it's like all I got is Jada. Like, me, fuck. hey, me and Drew were talking about me and Cobra for like yeah, an yeah, hour yeah. after the movie. Just like, why did they do this? <laughs> My thing is, I'm not a director, but there was a lot of. It was directed know, man, well. They really let, they it was re- directed well. They released this into the world. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's, okay, it's, it's not the writing. Di- it's the it writing. Was directed, it was it's the, the writing. writing. I needed it's more so, of everything. It was so much yeah. potential. It was a great trailer. I think we just needed more of everything, yeah. really. He, I, I, he just know, needs I, to have help. And that, that's been a major. He's piece too much of, of a control freak. Like, He's too much of a control freak. He doesn't allow people to like add in feedback or input. He when he, I think he had a couple of writers on, ended up firing mm-hmm. them or some shit. He has, he has to, to be yeah. in control of everything, Mm-mm, Tyler. And good for him yeah. that he uses control, control freakness into becoming a billionaire. Damn near. Yeah, good for him. All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all for tuning in to the No Clarence Podcast, man. Please make sure you subscribe to the Patreon and get the convo before the convo. Patreon.com slash no clearance. All right, make sure you go to the shop, get you a dad hat. I don't know, neither of us wearing it today, but it's all good. Uh, no clearance pod.com slash shop. All right. That is No Clearance Podcast, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay black. Stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>